Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to make a, another fun card using stamps from our sponsor, Rubber Stamp Tapestry. You can find them online at pegstamps.com. I'm using a couple of their brand new sets. One is Fresh Lemonade, and I just thought this was really cute with lemons and limes and leaves. It's just kind of a fun, fresh, summery set. And also this uh, Whispers from the Garden, because it has stamp uh, has sentiments to go with all of their new sets. Um, so I'm going to use One Life Gives You Gives You Lemons, Squeeze the Day, and I'm also going to use this canning jar from summer on the farm that was released last year. So let's get our stamps and start stamping. I'm going to use the ball jar first and I am going to use some VersaFine clear ink and the reason I'm going to use this is because I'm going to do some watercoloring and I don't want my ink to move. Now you could do this with a dye based ink and spread it around with water and have a really pretty watercolor look that way but I want to have a little bit more uh, more options as I am building my card here so that's why I am doing this. Now I am going to stamp with some uh, verdant, which is a kind of a lime green for our limes, and I'm going to stamp with some of this cheerful, which is a bright yellow for our lemons. And I'm going to start with the lemons, and I am just going to stamp some lemons in my jar here. Now the I'm using going to use the same stamp for the lemons and limes. I'm just going to blot this off just on a scrap of paper, and I'm going to go in with my green and get some lemons in there and there. So now we have a pretty full um, a full jar of floating, <laughs> floating fruit and I'm just going to let that set up a little bit. Now while that's setting I want to stamp my sentiments and one sentiment is going to be on the front of the card and I think I'm going to do that one with, oh, I've got some really pretty colors here. I love this, um, this summertime color and I also love this glamorous color. So I'm just getting used to these um, new VersaFine Clear inks. They're really nice. They, they're they um, a pigment ink, but you can watercolor over them and they've got a nice firm foam pad so it doesn't leave a texture on the stamp, which I like, but obviously you can, um, you know, you can use any ink that you want to. So that gives you a really beautiful image. Now for the center of the card, I'm actually gonna make an insert because I plan on making my card on like a craft card base. So I need to get just a piece of plain white cardstock and I'm gonna put this on the inside so you have room to write where it's nice and bright. And I'm gonna stamp um, with the glamorous ink, I'm gonna stamp squeeze the day because I think this could be like a nice anytime, um, anytime card. I just gonna make sure I have it right side up, which can be a little tricky if you're using a unmounted stamp. I'm going to put that, uh, I think, I think I'll put it towards the bottom. And then I want to decorate this with some of my lemons and limes. Since I just used the green, I'm going to start off with my, um, my green, my lime, and now I'm going to clean that off and do my lemon. And now I'm going to grab some darker green and do some leaves. So I haven't trimmed this yet, so just be really gentle when you when you ink your stamp up if you haven't trimmed the excess rubber off yet. Uh, I get kind of excited to use my stamps, so <laughs> sometimes they go a little while before I actually get around to trimming them. And I just use that little line on the edge of my stamp to figure out where my leaves are going to go. And there are some other little leaves in here which I think would be pretty with maybe a lighter green, so I think I'll actually do those with that lime color that I was using. And I, I mean, I'm not going to watercolor on these, um, this area here, so I could use any dye-based ink. So obviously use what you have. You can mix and match ink brands if you don't have um, the same, the shade that you need in a certain ink. But I thought that's kind of nice to go on the inside as your sentiment. Then you've got a little room to write if you want to. And, um, and that's just nice for a card. Okay, I added a few other lemons and leaves kind of hanging out around the um, the pitcher there, um, or the glass. My mason jar glasses are really still very trendy, and I thought I would put like a little um, a little straw in here, but I think I'm going to sketch it on with a pencil first and a ruler just so I don't mess it up. And I just want to put a little like a striped red straw in here. So um, I know if I do this with a um, a sharpie then it will not run when I use my watercolor so I'm just gonna draw some like parallel lines here and I can just color it in with a uh, with a permanent marker I'm gonna pretend that lid isn't there 
and just pretend it's like clear glass and I think by the time I'm done coloring it it will be fine. Now the only drawback at using the Sharpie is that this watercolor paper or Bristol it's a little bit more absorbent so the ink will feather so you just want to go real quick. If I had like an ultra fine Sharpie it would have been better but you know that's gonna that's gonna be just fine. Now for um, convenience I'm just gonna use a water brush and my little fan watercolors here because they're so uh, fun easy and affordable and I can just go in there and I can actually go right over my lemons and not have to worry about anything and I can even bring a little of that color onto the table in front where the uh, the reflections would kind of cast some of that color out. I also want to give the jar itself a little bit of color so I'm just going to use this little this really light kind of ball jar blue and add that to the jar itself just so um, I can kind of disguise the fact that there was the mason jar um, cover. I want it to kind of look like glass and that just lets me kind of tint the glass a little bit and makes it look a little bit more more fun. Now you do have to kind of um, think about this, your limes and lemons are going to fade out a little bit when you have the color in there but because we stamped it around on the um, on the table I think that really helps it um, I kind of have a little bit of prominence. Now I'm going to take a little bit, I'm going to make a little bit of kind of a gray color. You could also scribble your markers down on your paper too um, and make a watercolor that way. You don't have to use watercolor paints. I'm going to do a little bit of shadowing under my vase and under my lemons and hopefully help them stand out a little bit. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more of that yellow on top of the stamped lemons here just so um, they're a little bit more prominent. And then I want to have a little bit of a background color because I'm going to be using some pattern papers here. I've got them just kind of over here. I'm not sure exactly what ones I'm going to use but I know I'm going to want that to just have, pop out a little bit. So I think I'm going to grab some some pink and just kind of wipe my brush off, kind of water it down quite a bit. Maybe have a little bit of a coral color in there too just to kind of just want to get kind of a summery, summery background in there, just a little bit of color. And I can wipe off, I can blot off any extra, like if it's a little too dark, I can just blot it off. And another thing I can do is to kind of carry on the color that I used on the inside of the card for squeeze the day. I can take the ink pad and ink the edge of the front panel and that's going to tie the uh, outside of the card to the inside of the card really nicely. And then you're going to want to let this dry completely before you go and assemble your card. Okay, I'm actually going to work on my background panel. So my card is five inches by seven inches. This uh, chevron stripe is four and a half by six and a half. So I'm going to have a nice chunky um, craft border. And um, the color, the papers that I'm using are from an American Crafts pad that I got at like AC Moore for, I don't know, five bucks or something, maybe seven. It was one of their special deals. I think it was the hashtag summertime one. I'm going to wait to stick that down, but I'm just going to sit it there for a second uh, just so I have an idea. And um, I die cut the When Life Gives You Lemons, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to have it here and then have some ribbons, because look at this ribbon. It's like perfect. It's like citrus slices and those beautiful citrusy colors. So what I think I'm going to do is um, I know that I have these like really like fancy staples here but I also know that they don't um, they don't really go through many layers very well so I think I'm gonna put a staple on each side so it kind of looks like it's holding ribbons on the card but it really is just there for looks and you kind of have to if you have this, this is an old tool I don't even think they make it anymore but when you use it you want to look and see where that little bar is and make sure that lines up with where you're going because it can be very difficult to figure out where your things are going to stamp so I think that's probably one of the reasons this tool never really um, got super popular. But since I had a bunch of those uh, staples and I still have the tool, I'm like, I'm going to use them up at least. And uh, you know, they are kind of fun anyway. So now I am going to trim some ribbon and glue it down. Um, I am going to use a wet glue here. You can obviously use a hot glue. I'm going to notch my ends. I'm going to cut short strips because I'm going to, I want it to look like um, they're stapled on from behind. So I'm going to have two of each of these patterns. That one already has one edge notched. I've had these ribbons for a long time. They survived the big KonMari declutter last year. Okay, 
And uh, the glue I'm going to use is Helmar 450. You could use um, Beacon. You could use... Uh, actually, I could have just cut that straight, honestly. But I think I'm going to have them like that. And I will set my... Um, that one might be a little long. I'm going to set my little panel on top to make sure it fits and everything is hidden on. And I can actually let these uh, these ribbons can dangle off the edge a little bit. Because we, are, we have like a quarter inch all the way around. So make sure I have it the way I want. Be careful. This ink takes a long time to dry and I've smudged it a little bit. Okay, that's going to work out all right. I do like it hanging over the edge a little bit. And that's good because all the inside ends are going to be hidden. So now I'm going to glue them down with my thick glue here. I'll probably be wishing I used hot glue in a few minutes. I really want the, the I just want to kind of trap the ends. I want the, the ribbons to be loose on the outside so that they look like they're stapled down. Like they're just caught in the staples. You have a few minutes when you are uh, gluing this. That's the other thing that, uh, other reason I want to use the wet glue instead of hot glue is because you do have a little bit of time to kind of wiggle stuff around and make sure it fits and it's slid where you want it before it sets and you're stuck that way. So, um, so that's another, that's another reason. And, you know, you could use foam adhesive if you wanted to, but if this was really going to be stapled down and I want that illusion, then I want to glue that down uh, as well so it will be nice and tight. And I just love it when I find a use for supplies that I've been hanging on to for a long time. Now for this, I'm just going to use my um, regular double-sided tape. And, you know, it doesn't hurt to put a little extra on there if you are, you know, if you've watercolored because sometimes your paper can buckle a little bit. And I'm just kind of centering that up. And then that is going to go on my card base here. And I don't think I have any exposed glue, so I'm just going to put my adhesive on the back here. And there we go. I like that wide border sometimes. I think it's a nice, um, I think it's a nice touch. Now I'm going to think about maybe adding some other embellishments on the front, but while I'm thinking about that, I actually grabbed a bunch of different washi tapes that I thought would go really well with this, um, with this motif. And I am going to use them to attach my, uh, squeeze the day in the center of my card, in the inside center of my card. I will put a little strip of adhesive just, um, just to keep it from moving around as I am doing that. So basically, I want to center this up, maybe center in a little bit low so I have room for the washi at the top. I really like this one with the, um, with the mason jars with hearts in them. So I'm just going to put that one up at the top. That's not actually anchoring anything. And then I'm just going to stack up a few tapes down the edge. And the other thing that this does is it, it takes up some of the real estate. So if you, if you're not a big fan of writing stuff in your cards, if it makes you nervous to kind of think up stuff, this will take up a little bit of space and it just adds a little bit of playful pattern, which I think is really, really fun. Um, and I mean, I know we can kind of get into that habit of like hoarding our washi tape because it's so precious and pretty, but you really should use it. You bought and paid for it. It's not going to last forever because the adhesives can, you know, turn into one big ball of stickiness. So you might as well, you know, take any opportunity you can to use up these tapes. Use it or lose it because if the sticky goes bad and then you can't, you know, get anything, get any of your tape off, then you're going to feel so bad that you like hoarded it for so long and you never had a chance to use it. And that is how you use a gratuitous amount of washi tape on one card. But boy, isn't it fun? I just absolutely just think it's adorable. Maybe it's overkill, but I like it anyway. All right, so I'm feeling like I need a little something up here. Um, I obviously could go in with a little bit of washi tape, maybe a little washi tape and a button or something to um, just to bring in a little more pattern and, uh, and whimsy to the design. And plus I love clustering and like layering stuff. Um, oh, I like that really skinny washi tape. We could do a little bit of that on there. 
Oh, we also have a skinny polka dot. Oh, I like to do things in threes, so I think those three things would work really well together. Don't be afraid to experiment. I think sometimes we're, we are way too judgmental on our, on our cards, and anybody that gets this is just going to be like, awesome, I got a card, that is so fun. And, uh, you know, don't, don't sweat it, you know, have fun. Sometimes what I'll do too is like inside where we did the insert, instead of like, uh, I could stamp on a post-it note and stick that in, and that way the person could reuse the card, and um, then, you know, they get a whole other use for it. I think instead of a button, I'm actually going to use some wooden shapes. I just uh, reorganized how I do my wooden shapes, and, you know, I think that... Those little butterflies would be kind of fun. What do you think? They do kind of get lost, though. Maybe I need... Maybe I do need a button. Oh, actually, I think that's all right. Oh, yeah, I like that. It's nice and summery. And again, I can use the same glue that I used before. You can strategically place your butterflies to cover up ink smudges, too, which is always handy. I'm thinking maybe I'll move this guy over here because I've got an ink smudge. If you're going to hand deliver this card, you can um, decorate your envelope with some washi tape. I don't like to mail the washi tape because I feel like it would definitely come off in the mail. It's just not um, adhesive enough, but I actually had an envelope so I didn't have to make one. So I uh, just kind of keep that in mind. You could like make a, a box with washi tape and write the person's name all fancy uh, on the inside and that would be a really cute way to display it. I want to thank you so much for watching today. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out our sponsor Rubber Stamp Tapestry. You can find them online at pegstamps.com and don't forget to look in the video description for some money-saving deals on your next order. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.